morning, Andy. Morning. I'm currently working on the CONOPS document, which is a very uh, complex document describing how spacecraft uh, operates. And I'm actually um, up to call a colleague uh, because I have some questions regarding our antenna pointing mechanisms. So um, uh, we'll have a look if he's there. I'm going to have a chat with Simon. He's the engineer for the mission planning system. I'm going to have some questions uh, regarding our APMs, so the antenna pointing mechanism. It's very important because the pointing mechanism should do the right thing in order to point the antennas that we get the data down our spacecraft takes. Hey Simon. Hello. I have a whole list of questions. It's about the APMs and how they are controlled. When does the user choose if we're taking high capacity or high priority images? The working environment here is very informal, very open. You have uh, a lot of young engineers. Okay, so we have actually three DLL, which would right. be, be exactly the same, exactly but, the same. but for each usually everybody's always, uh, they're all in a good mood, they're very nice people, very nice to work with. Okay, thanks a lot. Oh, no worries. Okay. I'll see you later. See you later. You have to have somebody who has the overall view and who makes sure that all those different subsystem works well together. And for that, you need a systems engineer. So I will see the whole cycle, the whole life cycle of the spacecraft. So like from the very beginning to the very end. And that's really, really exciting. So here we have a model of a SSTL 300 platform. It's very similar to the, to the spacecraft I'm going to build. And here you have uh, the imager antennas over here. Down here you have the Star Trek cameras who are actually looking how is the spacecraft orientated in space. Two and a half years to go and of course I want to be there and you actually see when it's up in space, you see is it really working what you designed? So that's very, very exciting. Of course, you always want to see like the final product. If you do design and analysis, then you want to see like what, what does it look like in the end. You don't want to just have it on the paper. You want to touch it and uh, see it. So what's going on currently? We're currently doing some um, thermal cycling. Yeah. So we're here in the in the clean room of the company. So what you see here, you see the different areas for the different spacecraft. So you have one here. You have several over there. And some. Uh, people in the background working already on a spacecraft and what we do here we actually uh, assemble the spacecraft and then we're going moving it towards the testing. Every day is different, every spacecraft is different, every project is different so you're never doing the same stuff so it's a very diverse job you do. It's fantastic. <laughs>